Welcome again for another beautiful session and I hope that you enjoy the lesson that I've prepared for you today. Now, our today's lesson is still concentrating on cost estimation. But in this case, we are using the regression analysis. My previous video was dealing with cost estimation using the high-end method. But we have, we have used the same, same question using a different method, in this case, regression analysis. Then you will realize that at the end of this exercise, we are going to have the same values and you're talking about the estimation of fixed cost and variable cost. Now, when we talk about cost estimation in cost accounting or management accounting, we are referring to an approximation down to cost whereby we consider the historical, the historical cost so we consider the historical cost to predict to predict the future cost. In other words, we use costs which have already been uh, incurred in the past to approximate an amount that is likely to be uh, incurred in future. Now, under cost estimation, it follows the normal linear equation whereby we have y is equal to a plus uh, B, X. And I'm going to explain these variables when I have some simple graph here. We normally have a graph on the Cartesian plane. We have the X axis and the Y axis. Values recorded on the Y axis are always dependent variables, which depend on the variables on the X axis, referred to as independent variables. Now, like in this case, We've been given the output units for every month from July to December. Total cost for every month at every level of unit is also given. So it means, in this our example, the total cost here is the dependent variable. In other words, cost in card will depend on how many units are produced. If you produce 36 units, 7,020 cost will be required and, and so. So when you plot a graph along this one using the values, so it means our output units is going to be the x value here. Total cost is going to be the y value. So when you plot a graph of these values against this, we are going to have a straight line touching the y axis at this particular point. And you find this point is fixed it does not change in this case it is the a value so a refers to the fixed variable then you have b which normally refers to the tangent of the point uh, of the line or the gradient of the line you can get the gradient of the of this line by identifying any two points so when you have for example y1 and y0 you could have x0 and x1. For us to get the gradient, we normally have y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0 should give us the value of b. And then you get that because v, b keeps on changing along the line, it is referred to as the variable cost. So B in this case, A represents the fixed cost, while B represents the variable cost, which I incurred in cost production. So when you have this particular equation, using regression, <coughs> in which case we are talking about the relationship between two or more variables, we are going to have these simultaneous equation, the sum of y should be equal to m a, which is the variable L times the variable co uh, fixed cost plus b summation of x. And we are going to have pairs of equations, summation of y 
x should be equal to a summation of x plus b summation of x squared. This one is the equation that we are going to use. Now, regression analysis involves these two equations. So, from this equation, you realize that we have our x, we have y. So, equation 1 is complete. We have everything because we, are, we, we will only get the summation of y and summation of x. Now, it means for us to use equation 2, you must get <coughs> y x and x squared for us to get the summation of x squared. So, we are supposed to have another column for x squared and x y. So, we are going to square everything along the x and record the values here. This one square is supposed to be 900. That two square is supposed to be 10, 24. Then we have that six squared is supposed to be 12, 96. Here is supposed to be 20, 25. Then we have 48 squared is supposed to be 23, 0, 4. Finally, 50 squared is supposed to be 2,500. Then, of course, you're supposed to get the summation. When we get the summation of x squared, when you add all these, because they represent this value here, you're supposed to get 10, 0, 49. Then we go to x, y. We multiply the column x by, by y. This by this, we get a value of, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, this one times this one is supposed to be 20, 0, 4, 300. That is by this one is supposed to be 220, 160. <coughs> then we have 36 by this one, is supposed to have a value of 250. Two, uh, seven twenty forty five by seven k is supposed to be three thirty zero for uh, seventy five, and this by this should give us three fifty seven one twenty. This one by this is supposed to give us a value of three seventy five one twenty. Then, because we are supposed to get summation of y x. We have the summation of y y x should be equal to one million seven hundred and thirty nine eight seventy five. <coughs> because we have summation of y, we also get the summation of y in this case. And summation of y is supposed to be the value of forty two thousand. 995. The summation of x here we have the value of a uh, summation of x is supposed to be 241 when you add all these one. Now we want to equate these ones in the formula, the two formulas that we have above. Summation of y is for Two thousand nine hundred and ninety-five should be equal to n. Now n here refers to the number of duration patterns for production. Like in this case, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is six a, which is the a fixed cost. We are looking for fixed cost and variable cost b. Plus B summation of X. Summation of X is 241. So it is 241 B. This is equation 1. We get equation 2. Summation of YX, which is this one. 1 million. <coughs> should give us. Summation of x a. Summation of x is 241a, so it's supposed to be 241a plus 
b summation of x squared so x squared so is this one so it is 10 0 49 b this is equation 2 now up to here we can solve this equation by getting the values of a and b using what is known as the elimination uh, elimination method and how do we use the elimination method we are trying to eliminate we are trying to re get rid of the unknown values of a or the unknown values of of b in this case we are supposed sorry we are supposed to have uh, 241 b sorry for that now by elimination method we are supposed to rewrite these values such that we have the same value of a that uh, same value of a or same value of b such that when you subtract either of the two you get a value of zero and only remain in one so if we choose to have same value of a it means we are going to multiply the equation one by 241 and equation two by six so the value that you get here will be the same as the value you get here when we subtract will be a value of zero and we only remain in the value of b that we go ahead and solve so multiply equation one so we multiply equation one by 241 so when you multiply 42995 by 241 <coughs> we get a value of 10 million 361 795 then 6 by 41 241 you get a value of 1446 a plus 241 by 241 you get a value of 58 then multiply equation 2 you multiply equation 2 uh, by equation 2 by 6 so and equation 2 you multiply by 6 so in play this one by 6 we get a value of 10 million 439 250 should be equal to this 1446 plus these are by six supposed to be sixty to ninety four. So in relation whereby we now subtract everything. When we subtract these values here, we are supposed to have negative seventy seven thousand four five five should be equal to zero, which is these are minus this supposed to be zero. Then 58, 0, 81, minus 60, 294 is supposed to be negative. Negative 2,213B. So it means negative 2,203B should give us negative 77,455. Getting B, which is the variable cost, should give us 77,000. 455 five, divided by negative 2 to 3 and <coughs> you get a value of when you divide this 2 you get a value of 35 so hence our variable cost is 35 shillings this value is read at this particular i mean this value is the is the value of the tangent along the line now how do we get a which is the fixed cost so getting a when i want to get a which is the fixed cost the fixed cost we substitute b in equation one only substitute in the equation that is easier to solve so that you can be able to get faster now we are going to have 
Well, you equate it here, it's supposed to have 42. It's supposed to be 42,995 should be equal to 6A, what we are looking for, plus 241B. Now, plus 241 times 35, the value of B that we have obtained. So we have 42,995, 6A plus... 8,435 so 6a is supposed to be 42,995 minus 8,435 so our 6a is the difference it should be equal to the difference which is 34 a should be equal to 34, 560 minus, uh, divided by 6, sorry. So our A is 5,760. Hence, it means our fixed cost is, our fixed cost is 5,760. Kenya shillings. So it means that is the cause that will be read at this particular point. It will be fixed regardless of.